We are back round to Tuesday, which means we have got our weekly update for Red Dead Online. And before we do go into it, I do think that this is a pretty decent one. I don't think it quite beats last week. I think last week was probably the best weekly update that we've had so far within 2020. But this is still a good one. If you do want to see me stream in this game live, I am streaming every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. There is a link in the description down below that will take you over to the Twitch channel head over to there, drop a follow and you'll be notified the next time I go live. If you also just want to talk more in depth about Red Dead, there is also a Discord server with over 2,500 members. We're getting ever so closer to 3,000 members. So a link to that in the description can also be found. Starting off and the highlight for this week is if you visit Harriet, she has a new mission for you. Whereas before on a weekly basis, we were getting legendary animals added to the game. This week is the same but it's done slightly differently. For this week, you need to head over to Harriet, talk to her, and she will have a new mission for you. It says, Harriet Davenport has received word of an untamed beast older than time itself nesting outside Saint Denis. The cold-blooded legendary bandit Gaia has a taste for human flesh, as well as the teeth and temperament to satisfy such a craven. Maintain a safe distance and sedate the primordial creature for Harriet or bring its unique skin to Gus to craft an imposing coat to wear. This is available for players that have managed to reach rank 5 as a naturalist, as that is when you can unlock these legendary Harriet missions. If you are lower than rank 5, I have done videos before on this channel which will show you how to rank up quick. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. This should be a guaranteed legendary animal for you to get this week. Because if you're someone like me, you're still trying to find the previous legendary animals that have come out with the weekly updates, as it is still just based on a chance whether or not they will spawn in. I'm still yet to sample or even kill one of the bucks that were released last week. With this being a Harriet legendary mission, you do have a choice whether or not you want to sedate and sample it. Obviously, Harriet wants you to do that or you can kill it and skin it. If you do kill it and skin it, you can take it to Gus, in which you're able to purchase a fashionable custom banded coat. And if you do do that, you also get for this week, if you craft any coat in Gus's store, you will receive a reward for a free vest. And if you craft anything in Gus's store for this week, you will get a reward for 25 free goods for the trader. And if you craft any trinkets in Gus's store this week, you will receive a reward for a free poncho. So there's some different things that you can do as being part of a trapper. The most difficult thing out of all of this would be probably the trinket. And the reason for that is just because they require collectibles. And collectibles now are completely random. So that just makes life a bit more difficult. But other than that, you can get some very easy rewards out of this. For the catalog this week, we do have some new items as well as some limited time offers coming back to the Wheeler Rawson & Co catalog. We have new colorways of the Comstock boots, the Millard boots and the Hevelin chaps. We have new items such as the Hopsmere cardigan and also the Might Hill pants. And we have some limited time only items being the Fernwater coat and the Hopman vest. And then finally, we are moving down to the bonus and benefits. Aspiring naturalists can knock five gold bars off the price of the animal field guide, legendary animal map, and the sample kit. So you're able to get into this naturalist role for this week for only 20 gold bars. And I do want to say that on the note of this, I feel like it is a good buy. Yes, it's 25 gold bars in total, the same as the Moonshiner, so they're both join as being the most expensive roles in the game so far. But for the content you get with Harriet, it's pretty decent, but you also get the Trapper alongside it. And that also has a whole lot of other content you can unlock just by going through it. I managed to get rank 20 within the Naturist the day after this update came out, but I'm still working through that Trapper content. And I'm also still yet to sample and sedate all of the legendary animals. So this is going to keep me busy for a while, and we're already nearly a month into this update. The other bonus that you get is 30% off all novice and promising naturalist items and the improved bow. So if you have been waiting to get some of those items, now is the time to get them. And as always, we do still have our Prime Gaming rewards, so if you haven't already, link Twitch Prime with the Social Club, and you're able to get 5 free Legendary Animal Pheromones, 6,000 Naturalist XP, a free Wilderness Camp, and a free Katata coat crafted from the Legendary Elk Hide. Any players who connect Prime Gaming before September the 14th 
will receive a free Akahi coat made of the finest boar hide, five rewards for a free box of Nitro Express ammunition, and a reward for 50 rounds of sedative varmint cartridges. All of that is if you link Prime Gaming to your social club. All in all, I think that this is a pretty decent week. As said, I don't think it quite beats last week, but this is still a very good weekly update. In addition to this, on August 24th, we did get a patch for Red Dead Online, which was there to fix general stability and security fixes, fixed a number of connection issues, fixed an issue that resulted in players being unable to buy the horn variant bow with gold despite already owning it, fixed an issue that resulted in players being unable to enter single player or multiplayer gameplay after a crash on PC, and fixed an issue that resulted in abrupt changes to time of day on PC. When this patch did come out, I was streaming Red Dead Online and I was playing on my Xbox. In the three to four hours of me playing, I did didn't experience a single issue. I didn't have any disconnects whatsoever. Now that's not me saying that this issue is now fixed. That could just be me getting extremely lucky. I was told quite a few times that players on PlayStation 4 were getting disconnects and players on PC were experiencing a number of other issues which resulted in them not even being able to play the game. After my stream, I was able to play on my PlayStation 4. I did play for around about an hour and I didn't experience any problems. As for PC players, there's not a way that I can test that. I was slightly worried on stream when players were coming in saying that they were having issues again. This was very similar to what happened two weeks ago when that game breaking patch was released. I was able to sit there and play on my Xbox without any problems, but PlayStation 4 players were coming into the stream and telling me how they're having major issues. By the time I turned my Xbox off and then played it the following day on Tuesday, that's when everything broke. And today, I've still been playing, been playing for many, many hours today, and still I haven't experienced a single disconnect on Xbox. Yet again, this could just be lucky. But let me know in the comment section down below what platform you're on and also if you've experienced any issues. For those of you that are unable to buy the butcher table, that issue is still part of the game. I've seen many players on Twitter saying that they're still unable to buy the butcher table and I really don't get why Rockstar haven't fixed this yet. For all of us here, we always say that Rockstar are just there for money. And as the butcher table is one of those things that requires gold to buy and gold can be earned, but it could also be bought for real life money. I really thought Rockstar would have fixed this within the first week. But here we are nearly a month later and this issue still hasn't been fixed. If you are experiencing any other issues, let me know in the comment section down below. And as said, let me know what platform you're on. That way we we can really start to see what issues are happening and also what platform they belong to. But anyway, that is all the news for this week regarding Red Dead Online. That's the weekly update and also the patch that they brought out on the 24th. If you're interested in seeing me stream this game live, then I am streaming every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Link to that can be found in the description down below. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.